want to get the best possible fuel economy that you can from your vehicle, probably the first thing is uh, to uh, check your tire inflation pressure, your wheel alignment, and uh, next thing to do is you want to make sure that you uh, you know drive appropriately. Driving habits are very important. You want to make as few stops as possible. You want to you know watch your traffic lights and make sure that uh, you're going to roll through on the green so you adjust your speed. Uh, uh, to meet those requirements and that will again uh, net uh, higher fuel economy. Also speed is important too. You want to keep your speed below 55 miles an hour. Uh, even when you're traveling on the interstate, of course you're going to have people honking at you and wanting you to move over, etc. But uh, again, if you want good fuel mileage, which we call hypermiling, um, that would uh, be, be some of the techniques that you would want to use. So. That all counts. Uh, one of the other things that people always ask is should I turn my air conditioner off? Uh, actually some recent tests have shown that uh, you, know, you can you should use your air conditioner. Speeds above 35 miles an hour, uh, the car is uh, less uh, has less wind resistance than it would with the windows open at those speeds and will actually consume less fuel. Uh, another myth that's out there, people with pickup trucks think they're going to get better mileage by lowering the tailgate. Uh, actually uh, it doesn't improve gas mileage at all and it just helps to wear out the bed of the truck from the tailgate bouncing up and down. Um, of course if you really want to get good gas mileage you can drive something like that and uh, that vehicle uh, without really trying will get anywhere from 32 to 45 miles per gallon uh, quite easily if you want a hyper mile uh, then you could uh, actually get an excess of 50. But you can improve gas mileage just by using some good sensible driving techniques. You want to accelerate like you have an egg under the uh, gas pedal that you don't want to break or crush and accelerate smoothly. Uh, no jackrabbit starts. You don't want to break abruptly. You want to slow down smoothly and actually keep rolling and not actually stop. And you'll be surprised at how much your fuel mileage will increase.